get robbed. So, so far, I like their matchups. The question is, can they get the ball in? They have Lawson being guarded. Now they get the big little game. Lawson all by himself behind. McCartney comes out on him. Now Lawson gets inside. Shoots, save, Lamalinera. Duke attackman Jordan Wolf carries the ball to the back right to set up this two-man play for Max. Duke's number two midfielder, David Lawson, is going to move to the crease to approach from there when he sets a pick for Wolf. He's going to set a pick on the right side of Syracuse defender David Hamlin, number 31, to allow Wolf to dodge to his left around the back of the net. Hamlin can't run through the net, so if he goes under the pick, he has to step back around the net, stay with Wolf, or try to meet him around front. If they time it correctly, the net is also going to get in the way of Lawson's defender, Syracuse short stick defensive midfielder Drew Jenkins, who, like Hamlin, will have to go out of his way to either go behind the net or all the way around front. Both of the defenders end up following Wolf, with Jenkins going around the back and Hamlin coming around the front. Wolf probably has the separation that he would need to score if it weren't for the double team. Hamlin can come at him fast enough to take away his left hand without worrying about getting inside rolled because Jenkins is there. Wolf correctly reads the double team and throws it back to Lawson. The position of the other four Syracuse defenders leaves number 28, the LSM Peter McCartney, as by far the best option to slide to Lawson. From here, it looks like Lawson is going to be able to move the ball over to a wide-open Josh Offit. However, three of the Duke players that weren't involved in the pick are trying to move around to make it more difficult for Syracuse to slide and recover. In this case, their movement actually makes it easier for Syracuse to account for them all. Number 8, Josh Dion, is moving from right to left across the screen, while Offit and Matthias are going the opposite way. Thus, Dion is taking Syracuse defender Sean Young, number 27, with him out to the wing, and by the time Lawson gets the ball, there isn't an opening anymore. At this point, Syracuse hasn't recovered from the double off of the pick, as Hamlin is still coming back across the crease. Duke's backside movement has, the other th has kept the other three players from being open, but it's also made the slide to Lawson quite long and has opened up space for him to dodge into. The other angle shows just how far away McCartney is from Lawson. If I draw out GLE, you can see that McCartney is no closer to GLE than Lawson. That puts Lawson at an incredible advantage because McCartney has to beat Lawson to GLE to prevent him from scoring. That's going to make it incredibly difficult for him to break down and stay with Lawson as he comes around the crease. Looking at the path McCartney takes to Lawson, he probably should be about another step to his left. The biggest threat is Lawson using his momentum to beat McCartney to the outside. Ideally, McCartney wants to force Lawson to roll back behind the net. There's not much room for a move to the inside, and help is coming from Hamlin. So playing him straight up is what allows Lawson to get a step to the outside. Syracuse's two-time All-American defenseman, Brian McGill, number 11, is demonstrating textbook defensive stance and positioning. He's positioned right in the passing lane to off it, as his stick up and in the passing lane over to Case Mathias. As Lawson comes around the net, the four Duke players are going to switch places in pairs to make things even more difficult for off-ball Syracuse defenders. Jake Trapuca, number 7, is going to back out off of the crease, while Case Mathias fills in his place. Josh Dion, number 8, is going to move to the center of the field, while Josh Offit, number 25, cuts behind him out to the wing. Syracuse's Hamlin, number 31, sees that McCartney has picked up Lawson. He turns around to pick up the free Duke player. Duke's movement makes it tough for the Syracuse defense and results in the four defenders all in a bunch, with three of them guarding number 9 Matthias on the crease, while no one has moved up to pick up number 25 off it. Hamlin has his back to the ball, and from his pointing, we can guess that he's trying to sort out who has Trapuca, number 7. Meanwhile, the double in recovery off of the pick has left short stick defensive midfielder Drew Jenkins on Duke's All-American attackman Jordan Wolfe, who's moving to secure the end line. It's a terrible matchup for Syracuse, so he starts to face guard him in an attempt to shut him off and deny him the ball. Back on ball, Lawson's rollback has given him a step on McCartney, McGill slides, and is able to help McCartney force a low-angle shot without a fake that Syracuse goalie Dominic Lima Linera can save. Now take one more look at the entire play in real time. They have Lawson being guarded. Now they get the big little game. Lawson all by himself behind. McCartney comes out on him. Now Lawson gets inside, shoots, save, Lamalinera.